The DAR's patriotism is felt every day in the nation's veterans' hospitals, like these facilities in Nashville, Tennessee, and San Francisco, California, where DAR volunteers spend thousands of hours visiting patients. I heard you were handsome and debonair, and they weren't lying. What an honor to oh, meet you. You're just too kind to me. DAR members bring these veterans who fought for America gifts and a message from the heart. I get to say to them, thank you. I'm thinking of you. We love you. We appreciate what you do. I don't think they hear that enough. I don't think we can ever say thank you enough. We're backed up by thousands of other DAR women who feel the same way, and that's the beauty of it. There's a power behind that, and the guys and the women feel it. I appreciate it. It's pretty cherished. It's just people care. We're here for a reason. And it's nice to know that people think about it. Veterans can depend on DAR members to give their time and money. The California DAR is donating Liberty Cards like this one to transport disabled veterans around VA medical centers. If we can show our troops by even small gestures that we support them, that we respect them, and we recognize what they've done, we've done a great deal. We thank them very, very much. Today's donors are also working to benefit our troops overseas through projects like So Much Comfort. This grassroots group headquartered near Dayton, Ohio, adapts clothing for injured soldiers who've worn hospital gowns for months. It relies on volunteers like these Ohio daughters to help sew and ship thousands of garments. It is something I can do. I can't go over there and hold their hands, but I can sew something to help them out and give them some dignity. This gives them back their life. And what more can you do? Whenever there is a need, today's donors are there supporting America's military. The DAR Project Patriot Committee assembles care packages for wounded troops. Virginia daughter Bridget Ward knows how much these comfort items mean. She's delivered packages to fellow troops in Lansdahl, Germany. I'm proud to be a member of the Armed Services of the United States, but I'm honored to be a daughter of the American Revolution. And then there's Texas daughter Pamela Marshall. For this mother of two sons serving in combat areas overseas, DAR's patriotic mission is deeply personal. As a mother, my heart is full. And as a citizen, I'm extremely grateful.